our turbo drain ain't catching on fire. <laughs> I get 20 nuggets and two large fries. Lots of barbecue. Lots of barbecue. Can't shut it off, you might die. Back out here, went to lunch on the Mahindra. What a blast. We should do that more often. I think maybe next time we go to like Beef or Brady's downtown. Comment, guys, where should we drive the tractor to? I will drive it anywhere. <laughs> I will slap a fuel tank on the back of the thing and drive it to Tampa. I do not care. <laughs> so let me know, where do we drive it to? Uh, but today we're gonna get back on our mini skid steer. A lot has transpired since the last time you've seen this thing. Let's go over a quick couple things right quick. We've got brand new tires and wheels on it because the tires and wheels that were on it were rotted. Um, you guys remember I bought a brand new Magna or Vanguard 23 horsepower engine. It's all in there. The boy starts and runs now, but we've got to put a seat in it. And I'm going to send it off to my buddy Ryan um, Keith to get sandblasted. Before we do that, we got to put a seat in here. I know the best place to get one. You guys are about to find out. But first, we're going to start her up. I had to choke it manually. And then uh, we'll uh, 
go get the seat and we're gonna weld it up and this thing fell over not too long ago and bent the frames so we're gonna straighten all this stuff back up and uh put a seat in this boy and maybe whip some donuts wheelies wheelies Woo. all right let's uh let's go find a seat Actually, it's just getting the air somewhere. It's not made for big people. <laughs> the only thing I'm worried about now, Ryan, is when we put that seat in there and the height. And we could just trim it up. I don't, oh yeah, we didn't tell them the seat is coming out of the Kenworth. Yep. So oh, yeah. I think with by my calculations, we should be able to unbolt this boy and slide it right in there and weld it up. Keep a seat belt. Should we keep it maybe? You don't need a seat belt. <laughs> We should put like a four point harness in this thing. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Shoot. Get off of there. Oh. We didn't account for the uh, air ride stuff that's all in here. Oh dang, this boy got air ride lumbar and all that stuff. Dang. Right out of there. <laughs> Shoot. This thing's gonna be way too tall in there, Ryan. I can already see it. I don't know. Oh, we're going to make it work, but this pan, we'll, let's get it at the shop and we'll explain everything. Hopefully it starts back up. Ooh. Sit on in there. Come on. <laughs> Look at my legs. <laughs> A lot of stuff we need to cut out of here still so like the old safety bars we're not gonna be using those we need to cut those out because i'm gonna get a tetanus disease or something from them boys so what they used to do is come down here and press down on these safety locks and what those did is they released the foot pedal so what we're gonna do is weld those tight to where they ain't coming loose no more and we've got to do something about that seat pan because it needs to drop the seat needs to drop down and we can't weld the plate to the bottom because if we flip it up it's not going to work so somehow we need to drop that boy down a couple inches what are you talking about I can run this bolt out right here. why would we use an impact when we can use a torch <laughs> a liquid Woo! liquid impact here yeah. shoot dang all right let's get rid of all the safety features on this here unit Trying to catch it on fire at the same time. I'll grab a can of gas just in case something does get fire. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. One down. One more safety device to go. Ryan, you're in the line of fire, pal. To go. We go no more safety we're gonna weld them boys right there should be good to go so we don't need no more air ride so we'll go ahead and get rid of all this stuff out of here start cutting and ripping and pulling there we go oh shoot this thing will have forward and backward sliding function what 
Oh, I done did. Told you, Ryan. <laughs> we'll screw that out of there, out of the way. What kind of a shop would we be if we didn't have a semi seat in our mini Bobcat? <laughs> so, all right. I've got a surprise for you guys. Our friends over at JB Tools sent us an awesome tool. Let's go get it. This boy is heavy. We got us an evolution. Dang it, Nick, I'm trying to talk. <laughs> an evolution steel chop saw. And what perfect thing to use it on our little skid steer here. Cause we gotta make some seat drop brackets for the seat. I'm out of breath. I'm fat. <laughs> All right. Are you, ever, you guys probably the same thing you shop. You got a whole box of razor blades here, right? Instead of putting the last one you use somewhere you'd know it would be because it's still good, you just leave it somewhere. <laughs> then when you need one, come over here to the Harbor Freight Specials and just grab another one. <laughs> so, I like how it says team lift. Like, yeah, this thing's heavy as heck. All right, let's get this thing all out. We'll get her set up, and we'll start chopping on some metal, make our seat drop brackets. So you guys that were here for the day cab cab over build know that we have an Evolution Products um, frame drill, and that thing worked awesome. So, <laughs> look at these teeth on this boy. So these Evolution Power Blades are carved from extremely rare Dwarf Star, the same stuff that Superman's house key is made from. So, pretty bad stuff. It's going to cut through metal like nothing. All right, let's get this boy put in here. I'm going to cut my, cut my leg off here first. Shoot. There it is. Clicks right This out. thing came with all the tools to do the installation. We are about ready to rip Hater freaking chip. All right, let's get to cutting. Yep. Okay, so I've got this piece of angle iron here, and we need to cut her down. But we need to go from back there at the back to about right there. <laughs> let's run with 18 inches. Now let's make sure we got 36 inches of stuff here. We do, in fact. All right, let's make some 18 inch pieces. So this thing even has an adapter for cutting angle iron. Dude, check that out, I slid it over it. All right, we need to go 18 inches, right? Yep. So let's slide this over. I'm a fabricator. <laughs> ish. 18 inches ish right there. Safety first, kids. All right, close your ears, it's gonna be loud. Holy crap, that was nothing. <laughs> That's insane. That is definitely crazy. I've never... This is our, my new favorite tool in the shop right here. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> it's not even hot. It's crazy. I guess that's because it's a cold saw. I don't know. All right, we're gonna uh, run it with the sound on. So if you got headphones on, you got three, two, one. So there you have it, we got these boys cut, and what I'm gonna do, we're gonna come right in here, put them just like that, and then we'll weld to the bottom of them. See, that old crap right there really needs to come out. It's all just like fuddy-duddied in there. So we tried being nice and getting this old rusty stuff out of here, but I'm gonna take our torch here and blow this stuff off. Running out of gas.
Got it. Going down. There's a little bit left to go in the back. There it is, what's left of the factory floor pan. Put that over there out of the way. So now, like I was saying, we're gonna take these, weld them just like that right there on both sides, and then we're gonna take that other pan and put it right in there. You're just gonna see, okay? I need measuring the apparatus here. I lost it again. You're measuring the stick? Here it is. All right, while I'm doing this, Nick, I need you to grind down from like this sticker to the back on both sides. Okay. Just in that area, probably Just from like the halfway point over. Okay. Just gonna weld that boy in there. And then uh, we need to measure, if we're gonna put this right there roughly on both of them sides there. So if we subtract one inch from the overall circumference of the prism, we should figure it out. <laughs> You're being serious? <laughs> so we need a 21 inch wide piece of metal. Where'd our metal go? Right over here. All right, so we need to trim this boy down to 21 inches. <laughs> I need a, never mind, we got a right heel. have it we've got our drop pan now we probably should go ahead and mark the holes and drill them did we make sure the seat would fit on that i measured it okay inches They're roughly 11 and a quarter center to center, so. Which 21 and divided in half is. 10 and, a half. 10 and a half, so. We'll find our center here. Now, what I say? 11 and a quarter, quarter divided by 2. We'll have to do some math here. 5 and a 8? No, that'd be 10 and a quarter. Five and five eighths. Yeah, five five eighths. You lost me there. <laughs> Doesn't take much. <laughs> we'll drill half inch holes so that we have plenty of room for error. So before we set this in there and weld it, we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes for the seat to make sure it fits in there. But it's easier to do it right here and measure it all outside. So we need a block of wood, sir, and we'll prop it up. We're definitely not gonna to wanna to start with a half inch drill bit though. Okay, thin enough to... No, we need to at least start with something a little bit smaller. 
Harbor Freight drilly bit. Just work on cleaning and organizing some of that stuff up for now, Lake. Perfect. All right, so our holes are drilled. This plate is still very hot. So let's uh, test fit it to the hot potato. Now we'll just roll over. My calculations are correct. A Dang. Hole. Dang, I'm good. On point. And I think we've got plenty of travel, so we want to should be good. Now let's see if this fits in here like it's supposed to. Oh, perfect. Wilson Fab. <laughs> right about there. Let's put some tack tack tackaroos on her. So got this boy welded in there. Shoot. Again, Wilson Fab. Ready to rip. I had to make some spacers to bring it up just a tick because of the way the seat's made. So we dropped it down two inches, but we picked it back up another quarter inch or three eighths of an inch. So let's get this seat set in there. I'll go rip this bird. <laughs> you ready to bring her over here? Yep. It's gonna be fun putting it in there and then putting these bolts in on that hot plate. <laughs> well, I guess she's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's definitely warm, no doubt. <laughs> Set her on in there. You have to flop it up past the uh, shifter or the handles there. Careful now. Don't be damaging my seat. Ooh, be careful. Easy. This is a camera seat. Dang. Might get frisky later and light this thing on fire because it's a Kenworth seat. <laughs> oh. Take the telehandler to her. Oh. There you go. Hold these. See if we can make her fit. There's one. I'm gonna slide this boy back. Oh, that's gonna slide back. All right, let's try her out. Woo! Dang, you almost need an armrest in there. <laughs> I need a freaking helmet. What are you talking about? <laughs> there we go. My feet barely touch the pedals. Looks comfy in there, She's though. a little tall. <laughs> you definitely need like a, a motorcycle. I've got one up front. Now you gonna crank some wheelies? I get her to crank. <laughs> yeah, I gotta choke it again. Freaking Briggs Vanguard, you have to choke it no matter if it's hot or cold ever. Try to put a uh, choke cable on it. All right, so we've got a hydraulic leak. We're gonna weld the leaky holes straight quick. Yeah, apparently a hydraulic pump problem. Let's find that leak. Pinhole probably right here somewhere. Looks like it's... Oh, well, yeah. What I've had to do in the past is get rid of those things completely. Watch out. And just weld a new elbow onto it. So for the sake of today's video, I think the best course of action, we're gonna leave this alone because this it's dripping, but it's not pouring. I think eventually we are gonna put a new hydraulic pump on it because the hydraulics work, but they're just kind of weak and acting funny. Um, but for now, we're gonna go out there and crank some wheelies, drive her around, put her to the test, and see if we find any other leaks other than that one. Mm. I, got, I got a safety device we can probably use. Let me, let me go get it, I'll be right back. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I might not bump my noggin. Hop up in there. Napoleon Dynamite over here. What? <laughs> you never even seen that movie. <laughs> I've seen clips. Because I told you about it. <laughs> God. <laughs> my head's literally hitting. <laughs> this is perfect for Lake. Lake's going to be like the official yeah, skid steer okay. operator. <laughs> Choke it, please, sir. Girlfriend usually yells at me like that. 
<laughs> I feel like I need a seatbelt. No. It's so awkward now to run the controls with the seat so high. Maybe I have to put a different seat in it. Send it. Anything behind me? Whoa! Dang, that was sick. Woo! <laughs> so glad I got a helmet on. Oh! <laughs> That's awesome. They're so touchy. Oh. I need a mouthpiece, <laughs> a mouth guard. Oh. Gas, maybe too. Uh oh. Crap. Let's check the gas. <laughs> that was awesome. My neck hurts because I like started to balance it and hit it. Look at the top of the helmet. <laughs> Dude, I see it. There's scratch marks. It's got to be out of gas. I don't even smell like there's gas in it. Give me some gas. Good? Good. <laughs> All right, guys, we don't have any regular gas. We've got 110 octane for the pulling tractors, though. <laughs> About to put some $10 a gallon gas in our $20 skid steer. <laughs> Jeez. Hopefully, this is what's wrong. That's what it sounded like. It just ran out. Look, you can see where I was like bumping. <laughs> this thing is so violent. Good Lord. That's that purple clear. Or oh. It might be blue gas, actually. We should put a turbo on this. Dude, yes. <laughs> That'd be or sick. just a header. Get rid of the muffler, make it loud. <laughs> there went $20. There went $30. Jeez. There went $40. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> this stuff's more like 12 or 14 a gallon right now, I think. Jeez. And we just put at least three gallons in it, so. All right. Let's hope that's the problem. Hopefully it's all the garbage in the tank too because this thing sat for so long. All right, come on baby, run. Fire it up. Ain't sounding good. I don't think it's flooded. Let's uh, make sure we got fuel coming out. Our fuel filter right quick. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Well, look at all the trash in that boy. Mm -hmm. You know what, Bobby? I'm putting you in timeout. <laughs> you good? <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The nice thing about my pops used to have a lawnmower shop. All that containers, whole containers full of old lawnmower parts. We've got a brand new fuel filter here. We'll slap that boil in there and then I'm gonna pressurize that tank with a rag and an air blower and try to blow all whatever crap is left in there out. So we're gonna wrap this here 
dealio with a rag. We're gonna put that right there. And we're gonna pressure that tank up till something comes out. Oh! All right, so we brought her up here, had bad, ga or bad fuel line. I had to run up front and handle a customer. So Nick and Ryan pulled the fuel line out of the fuel tank. It had dropped off of it, so it basically wasn't sucking any fuel. So we got, it's working now. It's running on 110 octane BP race gas. Where's my helmet? Over there. All right. And now we've got a bucket full of a... Uh, Asphalt, we should be able to do some reverse wheelies. I've oh. never been one to do crazy stuff with a skid steer, but we're gonna figure it out today. <laughs> Heck yeah. Oh! Rolls! Oh. <laughs> Gosh! my spine down. You good? We're good. Oh, Look at that. Off. I must have ran out of gas. Hey. Oh boy. <laughs> That's insane. Seatbelt. We gotta put a seatbelt in this thing before sure. we need any more. Oh shoot, we're leaking hydraulic oil. 
no. Let's crank her and see if I can get her to back oh, up. Oh, God. Think it'll crank? I don't know. There you go. Let me get back in it before we uh, crank it and run it out of oil. That got a little crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we need like a seven point harness in this mother trucker. <laughs> that was sketch. My wife's gonna see this. <laughs> my daddy's gonna see it and tell me, son, you know, can't be doing that on my property. I'm gonna have to kick you off, quit giving you your, your monthly paycheck. <laughs> All right, let's go do some safe rear wheelies. Cause the front ones just aren't my thing yet, I don't think. <laughs> That boy went like whoosh. Yeah, I was like, oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> All right, folks, so it's a requirement. If anyone around here in the shop is going to drive Bobby there, you got to wear a helmet. <laughs> Look at the top of that boy. That could have oh been my, my that could have been my dome, <laughs> my real dome. Jeez. All right, so harness. It's 100% got to go in this thing. It's a race harness in this thing. <laughs> now we got to fix that cylinder seal. And I think the hydraulic pump's kind of weak. This has got a hydraulic pump for the hydrostatic drive, which is what drives it, which works fine, obviously. <laughs> We're doing wheelies. <laughs> um, but the hydraulic pump that picks the load up, it works, but it's just like spirit, sporadic. It may have some trash we can figure out too. But now that we know it runs and works, and it's a wheelie machine. That was we sick. can go forward with it. But do we paint it or do we leave it how it is? What do you think? It's just so rough. It is rough. Like turning on anything other than dirt. <laughs> it's bad. Well, there you go, guys. Another completed project. We didn't show you every little thing we did, the ins and outs. But basically, at the end of the day, we replaced some hydraulic hoses on it, put a new engine in it, some new tires and wheels. And you've seen us put that seat in there. Dad, I got bruises on me. <laughs> You know what we should do next is hang a window kicker off the back. Just a little AC unit. Yeah. <laughs> and a generator off the back. If you don't wheel it oh, too hard boy. and smack it. Yep. But here's the sled. Before we quick click this video off here, the garden tractor pulling sled, we had to pull the hub off of it to get some longer studs. We got the new front wheels on this bird, looking fresh. Um, we put another new hydraulic line somewhere up here, right over there. She's looking good. Lake did an awesome job painting it. Um, working on wiring up the control panel here. I got a really nice control panel here and got rid of some of the switches that were on it. We still got to put stickers on it. And it's got this relay box right here that kind of just does away with having a bug ugly relays and all that kind of stuff. And it's just really nice. So this thing's going to click and work every time you hit that button. And it's all weatherproof too. So it's going to look nice. I'm going to wreck this video out of here. I don't know what that was, that man. Before we get at, <laughs> in the video, I want to show you guys a sneak peek of what's to come in tomorrow's video with a pulling truck. You ready? Mm-hmm. Boom. Dang. That's all you can see. And some more stuff right there. Not oh, supposed to be seen. oh. So, coming tomorrow, massive turbo for the pull truck. Hope you guys enjoyed our little bobcat stuff, and uh, we'll be back at you very soon. Peace.